What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of GTA Vice City. Today we are buying our 7th out of 7 properties to be able to advance to the last two missions. So this is pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and buy Sunshine Autos and find out what we have to do BJ to complete BJ Smith, and you must be Mr. Vassetti. Would you like the tour? Might as well. Well, I'm very sad to be selling the dealership to y'all. This is my first investment after I turn pro. But now, it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. <laughs> no, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generational wealth. They're stealing cars. <laughs> Obviously, I could wind down the business before handing it over. Hell, I could burn the place down if I wanted to. This is prime development land. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. This place seems perfect. <laughs> yeah, it does. So I take it we have a deal. All right. Car showroom purchased for 50K. Let's go, boys. This isn't the, uh, the most stand-up automobile business, though. They boost cars and then sell them. How do we, uh... I know we have missions where they want us to steal cars. How do we get those started? Ah, uh, probably down here. Those are races. I don't think we want to do races. I think we want to steal cars. Oh, here it is right here. So it's right next to where we're looking with the races over there, but it's actually this. So vehicles wanted the Landstalker Idaho Esperanto Stallion, Rancher, and Blista Compact. So basically the way it works is we have to get all of those cars. We have to go steal them out in the world, bring them back, put them in the garage. Once we do that, we unlock the first level of asset for this, this property, which that's all we actually need. After you do that, it'll give you a second list and then a third list, and I think a fourth list, and every single time you complete one, it'll give you more. But, like I said, I think we're just gonna go for the very first one we can find. We found a saber. Is a saber on there? No, a saber's, saber's not on there. I have the list over here. I wrote it down just so we could reference it. So we're gonna go around. We're gonna try to find these cars. And, uh, man, this is gonna be a long task, but hopefully we can get it done. What is this thing? This is a stinger. I don't think a stinger was on there. Stallion, Rancher, Blista Compact, Landstalker, Idaho. Another Staber. Man. This is gonna be a long one, dude. This is gonna be another Saber right here. I'm gonna grab one of these things and let's go exploring around looking for something that we need. This is kind of an old school car we don't see too much of. Is this something we're looking for? Voodoo, nope. Oh, it's got hydraulics in there though, that's pretty sick. Okay, well, still no luck, just gonna drive it around. It is nighttime and raining right now, which, I don't know if the rain matters, but at nighttime, fewer cars definitely spawn. Uh, it, it's definitely reduced, so. It's all right though, we're just, we're gonna keep looking. I'm sure we'll find something eventually. We've only got, uh, I think it's five or six cars to check off the list, so it's not gonna be too hard. I think this is, uh, I think this is the Blista. Blista Compact was on there, right? Yes, sir. All right. Car number one of six, boys. Let's get it. Sunshine Autos. Let's go ahead and drive this thing down here. 
and put her in the garage. Which garage do we want to put it in? This one over here? I'm assuming it's this one? Are we doing it right? Delivered like a pro. Complete the list and there will be a bonus for you. Okay, so one of them is crossed off. Well, back out into the streets. Let's find another one. Dude, if that would have been another one that we needed right there. Wait a second, what's this behind us? I think that thing behind us might be. Hold on. What is this? I think this might be something. Idaho? Sentinel. Oh, we don't need a Sentinel. It kind of looks like the Idaho though, all right. We're gonna keep looking. Okay, so I'm 100% sure that this game, I even looked it up. Um, this game, once you start this mission, it starts spawning the cars that you're looking for even less. Which I think is just rude. I think that's awful. But basically what we're looking for is we have five vehicles left. Three of them are long, low riders with two doors. One of them is a convertible, the other two are coupes. So we're looking for those. And then we're also looking for two SUVs, the only two SUVs they have in the game. So, I mean, all of these, they're very common. The SUVs, I'm not really sure. But I know these lowrider looking things are very common around like Little Havana, Little Haiti and stuff like that. We've seen them all throughout this Let's Play. And now all of a sudden when we actually need them, and I'm driving up and down every which way, they're nowhere to be seen. Like I literally, I haven't seen one. So I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what to do here. We're just we're gonna keep on going around all over the place looking for it. Um, I know the location you're in as well as what type of car you're in dictates what kind of cars are spawning around you. So we'll probably just keep up switching up cars and. I don't know, man. This is going to be quite the grind. Like, holy cow. We have one so far, and I've been looking for like 20 minutes. This is crazy. I think we just found one, guys. I think we just found one. Please, please tell me this is in Idaho. Let's go. Okay. Well, that's two down, boys. Oh, my goodness. This has been such a grind. Two down out of six. Let's go. Hello, beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate you delivering me this nice little uh, blue gym here. This, my friends, is a stallion. And this is going to be our third vehicle delivered to the garage. So now we have one more. One more kind of like hot rod style type vehicle. And then we've got the two SUVs left. I think we just found one of the... Uh, one of the SUVs, dude, there's no way. So we went through a pretty bad, a pretty bad little lull there where we couldn't find anything, especially right off the start. And now things are, are coming out of the woodwork. We literally just delivered that last one, pulled out of sunshine and this one was right on that front street. So we're gonna throw this thing in here. Looks good to me. And I think there are only gonna be two left. Look at this, guys. We've got the Rancher and the Esperanto. No way, dude. Don't tell me we we found the other SUV just right now. Ah, oh, I'm pretty sure this is the same kind. I think we want to look for one that has two different headlights. Yeah, this is the Landstalker. We need the Rancher. It appears that this Infernus is bringing us good luck, though, so... We're going to keep searching with this thing. I can honestly say that this is the worst thing I've ever had to do in a video game. Like, it's it's not not even close. It's been at least a half hour since we found a car. We're still at only two left, but we just, I mean, we can't get it to spawn. I went to the GTA Wiki. I found out that it, it spawns all over Little Haiti and uh, Little Havana. So we've just been driving back and forth between the two of them over and over and over again. And it's just, it's, it's not popping up. I've been getting in out of, in, into cars, different types of cars. I've been getting out of cars and doing it on foot. I just, I can't find this last, like, lowrider type vehicle that we need from this area. 
And it is, dude, oh my gosh. In total, we're at about an hour and 20 minutes right now to find these six cars. <laughs> the fact that it's just 100% luck and you can't really control what the game decides is just, ugh. Alright, we're gonna keep looking. Well guys, uh, normally I try to stay pretty upbeat and positive during these Let's Plays because I love video games, I love playing them with you all, but uh, man, I'm gonna be honest, this is the worst thing I've ever had to do in a game. I've been recording for two hours and five minutes. It took me two hours and five minutes to find these six vehicles and it has been the most painfully boring thing I've ever done. And not even just boring, it's just frustrating. Like, there have been some frustrating missions in this game because some of the controls can be kind of clunky and stuff like that. Some of the difficulties just seem a little bit off. But this was just like, I, I've never been more frustrated with a video game in my entire life in the past two hours. It really it was like the past hour and a half. The first half hour, I was like, all right, this is going to be kind of difficult. But after the first half hour, I was just like, dude, this just, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Like, there's no reason it should be that hard. Curse Rockstar forever trying to make a mission this hard and this random. Like, I, I honestly, I don't know what they were doing. But uh, that should crash, ugh, clash. Cross off the last thing on our list. Here's a little something. Got a new vehicle unlocked. That thing's actually pretty sick. And we have a new mission unlocked. We're gonna be able to answer our cell phone right hey, here. Hey, hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Brentworth. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up, I gotta go. Alright guys, there we have it. So that's going to enable us to start up our second to last mission here. We've got two missions left. And uh, we're going to knock them both out. Can I get through here? I want to test this thing out see what it's all about. What is this called? The deluxe zone? What, from the statue pavilion my own palace in Hawaii? You think that's wrong, do you, son? Do you? <laughs> this thing's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. I like the back end. Kind of Ferrari-esque. Very right know. indeed. It's just Good interesting. Us. Anyway, Glory we're gonna head over to Printworks. And we're gonna find out what in the now world morality. Morality is such an emergency. Is what I say is right, and immorality is what I say is wrong. Gang war is going down right in the middle of the street. We're gonna go ahead and bypass that and get to our objective. Oh, I'm bleeding. I need a proctologist. Shut it. Now, next question. Ask me anything. Ask me anything you want. All right. What's going on here? Cap the Collector. Oh, oh no, okay, the old man. Oh. oh, dummy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very Holy insistent. Up. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. <laughs> I'm gonna rip him too. I got you, bud. Holy cow. I mean, I enjoy the game when we're playing actual missions like this. Now the graphics aren't great, but it's it's kind of funny. And ooh, the mafia's taxi your business is find them and kill them. Okay. But yeah, I don't I don't mind it when we're actually playing it. It's just, dude. Oh my gosh. I just I need to vent to you guys right now. I apologize. I apologize for the venting. I apologize for the complaining. I know it's not the most fun thing to listen to, but holy shiz! Alright. So we don't have the fastest car in the books to catch up with these guys, but uh, hopefully we're going to be able to. Hopefully we're not going to be too quick. The Mafia has arrived at the boat yard. Which is going to be straight south of here, straight ahead of us. Let's go up to the main street and head down there. Let them know that this type of thing does not ride with Versetti Corporation. Mafia's tax the boat yard. Haha. <laughs> well, little do they know that we are in route. Cat the Collectors and more are on their way. Well, that's okay with us. We're just going to go meet up with them as well. Where are these guys at? Are they on the same side? 
They're up north, though. Up near downtown. Dude, I literally know the ins and outs of every single aspect of this map now. Maybe even better than GTA 5. Just because GTA 5 is so much, so much bigger. And this is... There's less to memorize here, but I seriously, even though I did just kind of take a wrong turn, we'll be all right. But I've been all over this map, up and down for the past two hours, just preparing for this moment. Ooh, these guys are coming down to us. There they are, right there. Right, we got those guys as well. And a trophy for repeat offender. The other collectors are all the way up there. I don't know if they're going to be crossing the bridge or what, but we're going to go chase them down. This car actually isn't too bad. It feels really solid. It feels like we have a lot of, a lot of protection in this thing. It's not the fastest, but we're also now running into everything and causing a big mess. All right, these guys are coming down to us. They're going to be over in the opposite lane. Hit them head on. Knock them out. Nice! Mission pass for $30,000, are you kidding me? We got 30k for that? Dude, I feel like we were in the perfect car. All right, so now we're gonna go back. I don't know if print, print works is gonna be our final mission or what. There should be one more mission in the game. This should be it. This should be the finale, so. Let's find out what we've got going on. Is it gonna be over here at print works? There's nothing at print works. We might get a phone call if we step out. Yep. Tommy, it's Lynn. We got big problems. Come down here right away. All right. To the Versetti Mansion we go. Lance is calling us with big problems. Do we trust him? Do we not trust him? What do you guys think? I think we trust him. I think we want to go this way, right? No, nope, we want to go the other way. Um, he's always done us right so far. He hasn't really given us a reason not to trust him. Nah, he's not the best at his job and he can be kind of lazy, but he's always been good to us, so. Even though he's frustrating and gets in the way, I think he's got our best interests at heart. So when we come from this way, I always end up pulling up here. Then I hop on the car and hop over. Here we go, fellas. One last hurrah! Let's do this thing. Here we go. It's exciting. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? <laughs> but right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine. Ken? Get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. 20 and mil? You get the guys together. What? Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy. I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family <laughs> etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. 
Literally someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. You son of a- right, Lance. I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. All right, guys, here we go. The Mafia are trying to steal your money to fin the safe, which is right over here in the office. And uh, I've got a special little present today to make up for, uh, for that. So here we go, guys. Let's get it. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Enjoy this one, buddy. You're not getting that guy? Okay, there we finally got him. Let's go. MG time, baby. You guys shouldn't be getting past us. I thought this thing was supposed to be like auto aim. Alright, there we go. That's better. Just keep a constant spray going. Oh no. And then we run out. Okay, we gotta shoot normally now. Dude, this is so hard to do. This is so hard to do on console. We are almost no dead. One to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? All right, he ran. We're gonna get back in the office real quick. All right, we're healed up. We gotta get back out there. Dude, these guys just don't quit. We're supposed to be chasing him down, I think. So I'm just, I'm gonna run, run through the fire, baby. Just keep going. Just keep going. You gotta leave me alone. Come here, you double crossing piece of Chase shit. Chase him down. Your history, you gotta get him. The question is, are any of those guys following us back up here? Or are we good? Oh, there's somebody there. I still want to get shot in the back. I think. Oh, more guys coming from up here. So these guys are protecting wherever he just ran to. I'm not even sure where he ran to. It's around this corner. Uh oh. Going to a different section. Yo! Yo, hold on. Oh my gosh, we almost died right there. Are they chasing us? They are. I know there's health and armor down at the bottom of these stairs. Do we go for it? We're going right back at him, baby. Pick the wrong side, Lance. Woo! Did we get him? I'm pretty sure we just killed him. Hold on. There's so much shooting going on right now, I don't even know what is happening. I see guys in here. Okay, those guys are down. Got nine shots left, I'm gonna shoot the, the nine there. Guys behind us. It's a good thing we were able to re-up an armor and stuff. They're stealing your money, you gotta you defend the safe. Idea, fun, pal? See if we can see him through here, maybe. Dude, we are so weak right now. Not really weak. I guess we're all right. 80 out of 100. I just, I don't, I don't like getting shot at by 50 different people at all times. I don't know if we have to get in there or what, but we're going to start charging. Oh, gosh. You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm going to make you pay. You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. 
Get him, boys. He never... <laughs> Get in there. I don't even know what we do in this situation. How do we kill these guys? Gotta get sunny. Come on, get sunny, get sunny, get sunny. Is that it? That's it. We got it. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? <laughs> I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. <laughs> oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? We made it, baby. Against all odds. And there it is. That is the end of GTA Vice City. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. A bit of a throwback. Like I said, I, I know it wasn't the best graphics ever, the best story ever, the best acting or narrating or anything ever, but it's just, it's a classic, man. It's a, a, a really big part of gaming, especially in my life, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. So I'm going to see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're definitely going to have more throwback GTA in the future. Like I've said earlier in this series, I've actually never played the expansions for GTA 4. So the Ballad of Gay Tony and the Lost in the Dam. So we're definitely going to check those out next. Not sure when that's going to start, but that will be the next throwback GTA that we do in the future. So look forward to that, guys. I'm going to catch you all later. Peace out.